Hey, what's up guys, Hoji Knows Best here. Motorola has announced two brand new products, the Moto Play Z and the Hasselblad True Zoom Moto Mod that's available for not only this phone, but the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at both of these products, but first is gonna see what comes inside of the box with this new True Zoom Moto Mod. So again, this is a camera mod and you take it out of the box, you can kind of get my first initial impression of it. It does look very nice, it does feel great, but also inside of the box, you do have a carrying pouch so you can keep this thing protected when when you're not going to actually be using it. But back to the mod itself, it is built very nicely, has a very good feel to it. It feels premium, it does look premium, and everything looks and functions just as you would probably expect. At the top, you will find the power button, the shutter button, and also the zoom controls. And on the front, you will find a texture grip to make sure you can have a hold of this thing and don't drop it when you're gonna be using it with your phone. Uh, then also too, you will find a Xenon flash, which is a very bright flash for those cases where you can't get enough natural light. But before I put this mod on this phone is going to take a look at the Moto Z Play. Now this phone is in the same family as the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. And some quick key points about this phone is that it does have a 5.5 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display. It has three gigabytes of RAM, a 16 megapixel rear facing camera, and the longest lasting battery that Motorola has ever put in the phone with a battery that's going to last you around 50 hours of usage. So that's a pretty big battery that's going to be able to handle a lot of stuff throwing at it. And you're going to need that battery, especially if you're going to be using this camera mod, because this particular this particular camera mod, unlike all the other mods that Motorola has released recently, doesn't have a built-in battery. So it doesn't have its own standalone battery. So it will be drawn off the juice of your phone. So that's one thing to remember if you plan on using this all day long. Now adding a mod to the phone is a snap, literally just a snap. They'll kind of just snap together once you put them close to each other. And you can see that the overall profile of the phone with this camera mod on the back of it, it's not too bad. Of course it adds some thickness to it and a little bit of weight, but it's not bad to the point where I wouldn't want to carry this thing in my pocket. It still is very slim and for what you're trying to get with this package, um, I do think they did a really good job in making a module that sticks out a little bit, but it's not gonna be too uncomfortable, especially to hold. And so I'm pleased with that, but now let's go ahead and cut to the chase and look at the performance of this camera mod. And so generally I found that the pictures from the camera mod would be better than the ones coming from the camera on the phone, but not always. Sometimes the HDR capabilities of the phone would actually come into play and help it out a little bit, but this camera mod did produce a little bit sharper pictures and the pictures are a lot less warmer than the ones coming from the phone, but overall, I really didn't see that jump in improvement that I was expecting. I was expecting performance to be something similar to a mid-range digital camera on the market right now, but I didn't quite get that. And these pictures sometimes have a hard time keeping up with some of the other top phones on the market like the S7 or the Note 7. So why would somebody buy this camera mod? What I would tell you is because of the true zoom capabilities. A 10 times optical zoom really set this apart from any cell phone on the market because 10 times optical zoom is always going to be digital zoom any time of the day, any day of the week, because you're not going to have that huge image quality drop off like you will with digital zoom. So in my case, I would probably want to use this module if I'm going to a concert, a sporting event. In your case, if you may have a kid that's going to be performing in a baseball game or a, a recital, and you want to be able to zoom in, get a nice picture that's going to still maintain some really good quality, and then quickly share that content uh, via social media on your phone or just start to edit it on your phone, this is going to be a great product for you. Other than that, if you're looking for a kind of a, a better camera to use on a day-by-day -day basis as your normal cell phone camera, this is really not going to fit you that well for that type of use. Now, one of the reasons why you don't see a huge performance increase is because the sensor in this camera mod is really not that big. It's slightly bigger than the one that you get in most of the top of the line cell phones, but it's not to the point where you're gonna expect great low light performance or anything like that. And then when it comes to video, this camera mod can only record in 1080p. So if you want to record in 4K, you're gonna have to take that module off and use your cell phone's camera. And if you plan on using the audio from the video that you're recording, you're gonna be hearing this when you're zooming. So I don't want to totally bash this product because I do like the feel of it. I like having that grip. I like having an actual shutter release button and zoom controls that I can use. And I think if I am going to be taking a lot of pictures throughout the day, I would probably still want to use this actual grip. It's just kind of very hard to justify the $250 price tag for most people to want to pick up this thing just to have a better feel over your phone when you're holding it to take pictures. 
And so overall, I do like the direction that Motorola is going with this camera mod and also all the other mods that they have released recently. It's just that the quality versus the price is just not there for me because this mod does cost $250. It's a pretty steep price tag to ask for something that you're mostly going to be using just for the zoom capabilities. But if you do decide to get it just for those capabilities, you won't be disappointed. And it does have some use cases that will fit some people's needs. All right, so that wraps up this video for me, guys. I'll leave links down below if you want to find more information about these products and also to leave your comment down below what you think about both of these products as well. Is this mod something that you want to pick up? And where do you see this modular direction with cell phones going? Leave that comment down below. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on my social networks. I know it's a lot of directions I'm barking to you right now, but do it. You better do it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video and I will catch you later. Peace.